What is up, everybody? Today, we have a all-time bench press PR and a I'm tying my deadlift all-time PR. I thought I was setting a new PR, but I'm actually not. I'm tying my PR um, as well as warm-ups. Move well the way they're supposed to do everything. Move the way it's supposed to I should be going for the same number I went in my mock meet in my video about two, three months ago at this point. Um, my last attempt at my mock meet, which in my opinion was about an RP9. Okay, I could have done probably two of them. So hopefully today it moves at like an RP7.5, 8 max. Uh, hopefully moves at like a 7. I don't know. My deadlift last week kind of moved at like a week, like I was talking about it in the video. I think I filmed it. It was like. It moved like a seven, but like it felt easy, but like, I don't know. It was just like, it was just heavy, but like I haven't had that much like weight in my hands in a while. So I think I should be a little bit better prepared for it this week because I did that pull last week. Um, so we'll see how everything moves, but I'm just giving my coaches numbers. I'm not picking any numbers. If I was picking numbers, I'd probably go for a two and a half kilo PR just for the, just because, but my coach gave me numbers. I'm just matching the numbers he told me to give me. So it should time my PR on deadlift, and it should set a new... It, I should have a 5-kilo all-time bench PR, um, and I should time my deadlift. So that's good. Then we have a bunch of... Uh, you guys know the accessories already. I filmed this last week, I believe, but, you know, I have a bunch of posterior chain stuff. I got dips, and I have pushdowns, I believe. Um, so, yeah, today's going to be a, a nice one. Uh, it's Saturday, so hopefully the traffic isn't as bad. It says it's only going to take me about 35 minutes today. Yesterday it took me about 50, so that was fun. Um, so it's a much better drive today, which is good. But either way, I'm excited to pull. I actually really want to uh, pull. I just, I've been wanting to deadlift. Like I want to deadlift more, but like obviously doing more than twice a week is kind of unfortunate. And it's just like it's really hard to do once, especially you hit a certain number. And like you've been training for a certain amount of time. Deadlifting more than two times a week is like kind of impossible, and I used to squat three times a week, so I didn't really want to deadlift two times, three times a week because I was like, okay, I'm squatting three times a week, my legs are pretty fried, I don't need to deadlift three times a week. I already deadlift twice after squatting three times, and I never done the same day. So every single day I did something for my legs, and I was like, yeah, this is a lot, like it's fine. But now since I only squat and deadlift twice, and I only basically have like three separate days of me hitting legs because I squat and then today I do deads and then the next day I do squat and deads together. Um, I'm very much like in my head like, oh, I want to deadlift more because I like deadlifting. And the other thing is my other deadlift that I do right now, my secondary deadlift is sumo. So it's not like paused conventional or anything. It's just like I'm just pulling sumo. So to me, I'm really only conventional deadlifting once a week, which is true. I am only conventional deadlifting once a week. Um... No, it's not a bad thing. Obviously, it's working, and my numbers are fine, and everything feels good. But, like, I feel like I can deadlift way more, um, like, conventionally. And my sumo kind of felt, like, really shitty last session. Like, really shitty. It was just really weird. It was, like, my first rep on every set felt like it was an RP 9 or 10. And it looked like it. And then my next one was, like, a 7 or 6. And then the rep after that was a 4 or 5. So, like, I don't really know what RP it was because, like, as I did more reps, it got easier and easier and easier, like, way easier, easier, and easier, which is really weird, uh, especially for deads. So, I haven't been really enjoying sumo because of that, to be honest. Because week one, I was like, all right, it's fine. Like, by next week, I should have, like, I should be used to it again and, like, start to get better at it. And then next week or last week for me was, like, week two and it was like okay like I was going heavy but it's like all right sumo kind of feels like shit kind of hurt my back a little bit kind of hurt my hips a little bit and it was moving harder and then I was like and eh, it's kind of annoying I'm gonna go just like yeah let's just drop I wanted to drop sumo fully I was like let me just do paused uh deads especially because I'm so close to comp it might just be better he's like no let's not drop sumo like there's you're rushing it a little bit he's like uh we're gonna drop it to six reps which is what we did, and it will be like a, well, a same RP or lower RP, but six reps will be super light, and he just gave me some numbers to do, so it's going to be super light. It's like 225, like, in pounds. Like, it's like air, which is good, because that means my form can be pretty, like, perfect, at least, like, try to be pretty perfect, and then just get used to the sumo, like, motion. It gives me more reps 
at the position and all that and like it's more practice so it's not a bad thing I just kind of wish I was definitely more right now but I know I can't I just I'm used to squatting so much separated instead of so much in one session because like I had five sets of squats yesterday and they were all hard sets and there was the PR and like my legs feel totally fine today um and I deadlift today and then my legs will probably feel totally fine every single day but that's just because I don't get sore. I don't know why. I know I train hard now. I mean, I'm not going to failure at least. Like, maybe that's why. Because I'm going, like, a few reps in reserve. But, like, I'm training properly now. I feel my muscles working while I'm doing stuff. So, I don't really get it. Either way, maybe it's a good gen- I literally think I just have good recovery genetics. And I don't get sore. But I know it doesn't mean anything about muscle growth. DOMS or delayed onset muscle soreness muscle soreness means literally nothing for muscle growth and obviously I've gained muscle and I can see that I gained muscle over time and I've never really been sore so obviously I'm doing something right I just don't get sore which is weird but either way it should be a decent decent session and uh, I'm excited to bench PR so let's get into it Three, two, one. Bench. Press. Rack. Ah. All right. This, yeah. So this will be all time PR. Five two twelve. Hundred seven point five. Fuck. All right, five, 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 five. Oh. 
All right, now we got two more backdowns of Larson. This is light. Uh, everything in the movie worked really, really well, so I want to make these pauses really strict. Let's go. All right, last set. I love this angle. Come on. Now we got deads. Deads. This is second to last warm up. So I feel good right now. Um, actually, I lied. This is my second to last warm up. My bad. Yeah, this is my second to last warm up. Now I have one more up. Alright, last one up. Put baby powder on so, so I can get it. Easy. All right, top set. Let's fucking get it. Tie the PR right here. Easy. All right, tied the PR. Way better RP. Now we have a three by four. So to make this move as well, let's go.
One more. Last set of duds. Let me do accessories. Let's get it. Do accessories. All right, dead went well. Um, everything was well. Match my offline PR. So I'll take it. I'm gonna eat my frosted flakes today and uh, pop them through the festivals. So let's go do some dips. Ate my my cereal. And now we got dips. <clears throat> 45 pounds or five. Let's go. Alright, we got unweighted for 10. 2 by 10, unweighted. Let's jump up a little better this time. Last time was bad. There we go. Alright. Two more. All right, one more. Let's go. Another time. Football games are starting in a few minutes, but I'm gonna miss them. It's so annoying. Let's go. Thank God we're done. RDLs. We got three sets of RDLs. Should the same weight the same as last week because I remember it being very hard. And I want to make sure my form is really good, so let's go.
It's a good weight. Two more. This dumbbell is literally breaking. Like the front is falling off. One more. Miserable. One more, one more, one more. I hate these so much, but they are good for you, so let's get them fucking done. Hyperextensions. All right, well, there's 50 on here, so I'm just gonna try to do it. Might be really way too heavy, but hopefully, I got it. All right, let's go. I don't know if it did properly, but I was 15. Alright, again, don't know if I'm doing it properly, but whatever, I did it. I also banged the fuck out of the weight on my leg. My, like, shin after the set. But, I think you're supposed to just stay, like, here, so. Let's go. Honestly, I don't know, but they fucking suck. Alright. I think I'm doing alright. Lost that. Hello, Rebecca does it, so. I'd like to go home. I have forced the pushdowns after this. But. Let's go. All right, four sets. Let's go.
Por eso estaba así, pero... Tres más. Tres más. Bueno, me should probably go slower. Two more. See, now it's hard. All right, two more. Come on. My triceps fucking pumped fully. I'm not gonna know this yet because I'm fully pumped. Let's pose and leave. Alright, let's pose real quick. We can dip. I'm ready to leave. So, it's probably going to be a pretty short talk because I am exhausted. Um, but yeah, so first off, bench, really solid. Uh, he gave me a really long pause, which he said he was going to. I'm putting on my sunglasses. He gave me a really long pause, which he said he was going to. So, I was ready for it. Um, but yeah, that's 107.5 kilo. I believe that is like around 240. I think it's a little less, like 236 or something, um, which is amazing. That is a five kilo PR, and it moved pretty well. I think it moved the same as last week, if not even better than last week. So that's super solid. Um, what do I have in comp? Great question. I have no clue. Uh, what's my goal in comp? That's also a good question. I have no clue. I guess it's going to depend on how the next block goes because the next block is where I'll have probably like RP nine, nine and a half, maybe even 10 for bench at the end there. Um, which, you know, I get to see what my actual max is probably. And then in the meet, hopefully either match it or do a little bit better. That's, I assume the goal. I actually haven't talked to my coach about it yet, but I assume that's how it works. You taper, you like hit your max and then you just chill out for a week with just openers and stuff and then you prepare for your meat you should feel fresh and you should be able to do more than what you just did or the same so um i'm excited for that bench moved really well deadlift seems really well actually i think my deadlift today moved better than it did last week and this matched my all-time pr so if you watch the mock meet that i had about three months ago or whatever and you look at that deadlift compared to what i did today the same weight today moved way better which is good I don't think I have. I think my deadlift is the most thing I'm over calculating the most because I really want to hit like 455 and that's 365. So that's a 90 pound jump, which is kind of crazy. Um, the only way I load 455 on that bar during my meet is if during the taper next week, I hit like 185 kilos and it moves the exact same as that. Otherwise, I see virtually zero chance of me hitting 455, which is fine. Like, no matter what, I'm going to PR because that was light as fuck. So, either way, super solid day. Accessories killed me today. Dips were, like, the first set of dips. I don't know if you guys – I don't know how much I cut out of that. But, like, getting onto the trip, the dip bar 
was like awful. I like broke my wrist. I don't know why. It was just really awkward to get on for me today. Um, so that was kind of weird. But aside from that, everything else felt really good. Well, not really good, but I actually felt like shit. But they always do that. That's a good thing because that means I got a lower back pump and it means I hit the right things. Uh, hyperextensions, again, are like the weirdest exercise ever because I never know if I'm doing them right, but I do feel them in my lower back. So I assume I am doing them right. Um, RDLs felt like very hard today. Uh, they always do. And uh, push downs. I only did three sets because I'm so gassed right now. I'm exhausted. I mean, it makes sense. I hit all time PRs on both my lifts. So, and I had an all time PR yesterday. Luckily, I get tomorrow off. And then Monday, I will be filming 100%. I need to film every day this week. I told you guys, except for maybe Tuesday. Tuesday, I probably won't film. But Monday, I'm definitely filming. I have close grip bench on Monday. So, and then just back. So, it's a way more chill day. I did rip my hands open a little bit on my dad's. I don't know if you guys can't tell, but like my pinky kind of ripped open i don't know if you guys can tell probably not but i like ripped my pinky open a little bit i like my uh, callus on my pinky kind of ripped so it does hurt a little bit that's why i had so much chalk on for my deads but either way felt really good and i'm sure i can improve because my slack pull wasn't really that good and my positioning was like not bad but like it wasn't great so i have a lot to improve on deads and they're moving really well um i'd love to see what my coach is going to say about how hard everything was today We'll see. And then I got to talk to him about the next block. So, uh, yeah, I will see you guys on Monday for close grip bench and back. And uh, hopefully everybody has a good weekend. Hopefully my bet that I just placed hits today. And uh, hopefully my – I'm in fantasy playoffs right now. I'm in fantasy finals. We have a two-week final. So uh, hopefully I can win my final. And, uh, yeah, wish me luck. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.